What's going on guys, today I want to take a look at the drill downs feature in Power BI, how we enable it, how we use each option available to us, and some examples of where each option works best. There's plenty to get through, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first question is how do we enable drill downs in the first place? And the most simple answer is to have at least two category columns on one of your axes. These two columns can either be in the same hierarchy or be separate from each other. Let me show you quickly. Here I'm making a column chart to show profit, and I want to see this profit by date. Note that because date is typically in a hierarchy, we've actually added four columns to the x-axis. These are year, quarter, month, and day. Because we've added at least two category columns to the x-axis, the drill downs feature is enabled. Equally, if I remove date from the chart, and add country and segment, and just put them both in the axis area. We'll see that now because we've got two columns on the X axis again, drill downs are enabled once more. So I'm going back to the date example to show how these features work. You'll see that even though we have four columns on the X axis, by default, we can only see the year column on the chart. This is because we need to utilize the drill down features to see the rest. If I click this down arrow here to switch on drill down, you'll see that this button turns gray and this means that drill mode is switched on. Looking at the text on the button, it says to click a data point to drill. So I'm going to click the 2014 bar. Note that two important things have happened. We can now see profit by quarter. So we've gone down one level in the hierarchy, but also look at the filters of the chart. We can see that the year is now filtered to be 2014. This means that we're now looking at quarter data for 2014 specifically. Equally, if I now click the quarter three chart, we're now looking at the profit by month, filtered on the year being 2014 and also the quarter being quarter three. If we then click the up arrow to go back up a level, it'll remove the filters in the reverse order until we're back at the full data set at the top. As you can imagine, this drill method is great for drilling into certain areas of our data whether that be a specific year, country, or whatever your data set happens to contain. The next feature we want to look at is this button with two down arrows, which says to go to the next level in the hierarchy. If we click this button, on the surface, it looks as though it's achieved the same thing. We're at quarter in this chart, so we've gone down one level as we'd expect. However, notice one thing that's different. Looking at the filters, nothing's being applied. So we're still looking at the whole data set here and not just a specific year. Going down another level, we can see this more clearly. We have all 12 months of the year in the chart, so we're clearly not filtered on a specific quarter either. This method of drilling down can also be incredibly useful to us. In this example, we may want to look at how profitable certain months of the year are across many years to spot a specific seasonal trend. In this case, we don't want to filter on specific years or any other timescale for that matter. So this method is perfect. The final feature available to us is this button, which looks a little bit like a tree. It says to expand one level in the hierarchy. If we click this, I'll explain what's happening. We've gone down one level in the hierarchy again. And again, we've not applied any filters by clicking this button. However, we now see six bars when there's only four quarters in a year. This is because it's kept the year column on the axis. So we're now looking at every combination of year and quarter in our data. If we click the button again, we can now see every combination of year, quarter and month in our data. So we now have a lot of bars. Now I know what you're thinking. These axis values look clunky and they look terrible. And I agree with you. So here's a tip. If we head into format on the chart and under X axis, deselect this concatenate labels option. That's an option that's enabled by default and will squash all of your values together. By removing it, Power BI will group your values appropriately, meaning that your X axis values are not only easier to read, but also much more useful. If I change the color of the axis lines, this should be more clear. Each month is now grouped into its particular quarter, which is then also grouped into its particular year. 
This is a feature that's incredibly useful for hierarchy columns in particular, such as date or category subcategory, where we want to see the lower level values, but also see which higher level values they belong in. And that's it for today's video. Let me know if you found this useful and consider subscribing for more Power BI tips. But for now guys, I'll see you next time.